Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Beth and today is Friday, June the 1st, which not only means Friday Reads, it also means the beginning of a readathon. So let's get started. Hey, you want some more? Some more what? No, 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 you want a score. I haven't had anything yet, so how can I have some more of nothing? Okay, so normally Friday Reads is just where I talk to you about what I hope to read this weekend, but I'm going to expand on that for you guys a little bit, and I have two sections. So the first section is books that have no reason other than my love for me to continue reading them right now. I've got a bunch of other stuff going on, but these books are going to be finished this week one way or another, basically. And the first one of those is Soulless. I started it yesterday and got to chapter two before I remembered a couple of other things that needed to be done. And so far, I'm enjoying it. Um, it's written very much like one of the classic novels from the time. So that's a lot of fun. I'm also part of the way through the journals of Sylvia Plath. I'm hoping to finish it up this weekend in between a bunch of other things and give you guys kind of a short discussion on it. I'm very much enjoying it. It's very beautiful and mundane at the same time, which is a lot of fun. And then I've gotten just a couple of pages into Stephen King's On Writing. I still haven't picked it back up, so I definitely need to do that. It is not that long at all. Let's see, not even 300 pages. So I'm hoping to read a chapter or two at a time in between everything else again. Then I have children's literature and illustrated history, which I think is just really fun. And look at the end pages on this. Isn't that just really cool? I think this is a really, really fun book. And I would like to get some more information on different authors for my new series on uh, the book biographies and discussions on children's book authors. And then finally in this section, I have the Arthurian Legends and Illustrated Anthology selected and introduced by Richard Barber. This is a short book, but it has a lot of information in it. So what may happen is that I may just read snippets of it and then wind up getting it again when um, reading slows down. But those are my non read along read a thon books for the week. You should also know that I have been in a read along which is continuing until we all finish the book basically. So I'm on part three of The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. I'm loving it. I intend to complete part three today. I've been splitting them into halves, but this part three is like 98 pages long. So I'm really intending to read the entire thing today and see what happens. And then I've only got part four left, which isn't very long itself. So I may I may finish it all today. I don't know. It's very nice. I love this book so much. If you haven't read it, I would suggest that you do. Of course, I'm only a little over halfway through, so what do I know, right? You cover it with the other one. Yeah, me too. Then you and finally, I am participating in the S'mores and Mayhem readathon put on by Akos. I will link all the information down below. This is a middle grade readathon where you participate by reading books in which the protagonists go somewhere for the summer, either on vacation or to summer camp. And then that trip is where the actual story takes place. So September goes to Fairyland, and I don't know why, so I'll be reading The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making by Catherine M. Valente. Um, the kids in Wish in a Bottle go to the lake and find a fairy, so I'll be reading this. It's by Morna McLeod. As people going to a reclusive millionaire's mansion to find out who he left money to in his will in The Westing Game by Ellen Raskin. This book has Margaret Rose Kane being rescued from summer camp by her favorite uncle and spending the summer instead at his house at 
19 Schuler Place. So I'll be reading The Outcasts of 19 Schuler Place by E.L. Konisberg. Allie is going to the lake house with her aunt and babysitting her five-year-old cousin. And this is Deep and Dark and Dangerous by Mary Downing Hahn. And then I have Kit and Nita following Nita's little sister, Derry, not only around the world, but around other planets as she accepts being a wizard and goes on her very own ordeal. This is High Wizardry, the third in the Young Wizards series by Diane Duane. And finally, I have Babysitters on Board, in which the Babysitters Club goes on a cruise to the Bahamas and then gets to spend three days at Disney World. This is the very first super special of the Babysitters Club by Anna M. Martin. So that is my super ambitious TBR for the read-a-thon, my read-along, and my just-because-I-can books for this coming week and weekend holiday thing. So if you are reading anything in particular right now, if you have done a holiday TBR or Friday Reads, or if you've decided to participate in the S'mores and Mayhem Read-a-thon, please let me know down below. Link it up if you can, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Until next time, happy reading. Bye.